Good night, Skitten. Hello everyone, I'm very happy together with the Grappolis team to present to you our new game mode, Olympus. We have worked on this new feature for eight months and we are super happy that finally we can show it to you and that you can enjoy it. My favorite part of the Olympus is the fact that all the alliances have to work together towards a common goal. Really, from the very beginning of the world, you need to already strategize and plan with your alliance which temple are you going to take over. I think I was really excited about uh, adding the, the, the temples on the map and making the map a bit more dynamic. I'm most proud of the fact that we could actually pull the whole feature off and make it happen, because I think it proves that we, with a small team, can deliver even large features. And this makes me really exciting about the future of Grippolis and what cool other stuff we can come up with in the next time. I am most proud of the whole feature and the whole team. We have worked on it for eight months. I'm super happy and super satisfied with it. Uh, most challenging part about designing Olympus, 100% sure, is uh, balancing. Uh, the sheer amount of uh, types of temples that we're bringing and making sure that they connect and don't get too overpowered or too underpowered is a, a huge challenge. Uh, and I'm sure there will be still several uh, changes to how these temples work so until we can get it just right. It is not a simple thing to do but uh, I really hope that we are already very close to where it should be. Whenever we touch the more major side of the code base, we have to make sure that all the existing features that we provide in the existing game configurations, like uh, different world speeds, um, different kind of end games, different farm town and conquest systems all work together with the new stuff we put in. So for Olympus this was extremely difficult and um, I think it turned out to be quite well so we can offer Olympus side by side with all the other end games and configurations we have. We wanted to do this overview of the map so you can see it a bit even further than the strategic map right now so that you can actually see and plan where which tempos you're going for and what your uh, alliance is gonna move towards. I think that would be a good one for Olympus. I think the next thing I would love to add would be some cool quality of life improvements based on the community feedback that we can make it easier for you to uh, attack and hold temples and make it easier to play Olympus and have more fun. I really hope we can add a way for all the alliances to see in the simulator how the alliance buffs are influencing their fights. The improvements that I would like to add are the ones that our community will suggest. So please do that. I really have a soft spot for Olympus itself because it doesn't forgive mortals to remain in there. So just placing your units in there and suffering the curse of Olympus is something that I really like about the temple itself. I think I like Poseidon's large temple the most because the buffs for the naval units are really kicking and the illustration is badass. So yeah, Poseidon. Definitely the Poseidon Temple. The Poseidon Temple, mostly because it's underwater and it looks good. I love the artwork. The dark cave filled with raging waters, it's really amazing. The Zeus Large Temple, which is really mean, where you can burn enemies' favor when you're casting uh, lightning. That is something that you can do a lot with your alliance if you just organize yourselves. Please, go ahead, have fun, enjoy it, and see you in Grappolis.